December 23rd and um, for another select board meeting of the town of Rochester and we've posted this agenda in three places correct and on the website and emailed to interested parties so we're going to move forward with this legally warned meeting and before we start does anyone have any additions to the agenda that they'd like to make um, Mason um, yeah I'd like to uh, speak later uh, about having a special meeting in uh, mid-November. And, and I, I just want to give an update on Skate Space. Okay. Thank you. All right, um, maybe they want to add something. Hey, Beth, no, you're already on here, so you don't need to add anything to it. All right, okay. So I'd like to start first with the um, minutes from the last meeting of September 9th. Do you guys have any corrections for those? No. So i move, well, you weren't here, Tom, so I guess you wouldn't have corrections. So I'd move to approve those. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All righty. Okay. And, and we've got um, Beth, you were just in time. Thanks what did you want to talk about? So, uh, Shane and I are the co manager of the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And we realize that the grass is in pretty bad shape on that side of the park. So, we would like to volunteer to receive it in the fall. Well, absolutely, but yeah, it's definitely <laughs> going bad. And what what do you think about the the idea of maybe next year rotating it along the Bethel Mountain Roadside, still with having ribbons and and yeah, light I attracting? I don't think that the issue with that grass is because of us. I think this is my opinion. But mm -hmm. I think what happened is the summer before last, we had this really huge end of the market rainstorm, and the storm drain was blocked, and the market filled up literally. Well, I don't want to exaggerate, but our ankles were covered with water, and I think it washed a lot of the topsoil there, and so now the grass just is unable to grow. Where's because the about? places where, it could where it's in the sun, the grass is fine. Right. So it's, it needs a particular, who seated it in the in spring? Some, no, uh, yeah, someone Peter seated, seated it. Peter seated it, it and yeah. part of it in the spring, but yeah. even but the areas where we don't touch where he seated it, it didn't grow. Most likely because it needs a specific shade tolerant. Well, that's what I was wondering because it's yeah. really in under those trees there. Right. Yeah. So, so I think shade tolerant, and maybe with the hill farms can put a little layer of whatever you want there. Just something. Do it in the. Do it. I want to do it the weekend. The last farmers market was the 11th. I'd like to do. That's the 11th of October. Last year it snowed. The next week. <laughs> well, yeah, I think snowed. if we do it in the fall, it'll get it kind of head start in the spring. If it comes up, uh, yeah, it's usually not, this it's not the time best. Year, you start switching over to winter rye. Yeah. Well, it's not the best time to plant grass. Correct. But um, do I still think if we we, we couldn't we could. didn't it wouldn't have set this spring if we hadn't because the spring was so late by the time the market was started, you didn't have time, right? So. I, well, I seed is. I think it would be better to take our chances and do it in the fall. Mm -hmm. I'd water it. I can it won't hurt. From my yeah, no, I just in grass seed is not that expensive. It's not a big grass. It, it won't hurt. It's time just don't do. don't expect anything uh, okay. glorious at yeah, yeah, this time yeah. of year. But grass seed is not that expensive, and we have volunteers who yeah. can help us do yeah. it. And, so we can have to do that. So how awkward would that be to juggle maybe not all the way on Bethel Mountain Road, but, but at least give a break to some of those areas that are most really be, bared up? For foot traffic even, it would be fairly impossible to have people, because as of now, we have those crosswalks and everything that kind of come right to the middle Right to it. it, and there's a sidewalk right there's along there. There's a sidewalk there, and there's a right parking there. right along there. Um, yeah. So especially like with kids and everything, there's that easy yeah. access, and there is that parking strip right there. No, I understand. Yeah. It would be... <laughs> what about, you could experiment maybe with 
moving them just back on the other side of that last row yeah, of trees, and, but then still it'd be, it's, I think most of the the real tulip spots is where people are standing at their booths and the people are coming and they're right. milling around if there's, it's, it's right. worth but experimenting I, but with, I yeah. still think that if we can get it to grow, mm -hmm. get, because it didn't used to be like that, in the places where the vendors are, that's more in the sun, it doesn't get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the grass right. just is fine then. Yeah. So like in the, and we have, I mean, putting down it's all those vendors at the very end where they park their tents, I mean, and they're there every week and the grass is fine. Yeah. It's just in that middle spot where there's no sun. No sun. Mushrooms no. grow, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no sun. Well, so we I appreciate you guys coming here and, and broaching the topic with us instead of us having to come to you. Because yeah, so it was so. something that was brought up a little earlier in the yeah, year. Yeah, and, yeah. and we yeah. would have yeah. done it in the fall. Yeah. I, and I went away for the week after for a week. And came after the week. Well, there's no so question. <laughs> <laughs> like real a week of. <laughs> there's no question that, that everyone is happy to have the farmer's market oh, there. Yes. And it's um, not, um, you know. It's not the only thing that, that disturbs the grass a little bit. But. So yeah, I, I'm hoping for a long fall. So uh, yeah, I'd plant them. Yeah. Plant them. It's farmer's market. They should be able to grow grass, right? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so yeah, um, then you're not asking for any funding to do that, no. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> Um, Mason, you want to? Um, would you like to step in with the rest of the meeting and, oh, sure. and talk about the special meeting you'd like to to um, request? Yeah. Um, uh, I was thinking our next select board meeting we can be on the agenda because that's the process here. So I'd be on the agenda to talk about having a special meeting in November, mid November. And what I'm interested in that topic being is uh, climate emergency declaration from our town. Pretty much is what I was interested in. And um, the need to plant more grass, right? Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Um, all right, so it's... Um, a request to put on the next meeting's agenda, a uh, request for a, a special town meeting, are you asking, or just a, a town meeting here? Yeah. Mid-November. In mid-November. And um, not um, that's something that could be warned for the beginning of the next select board meeting? Might have yeah. more people in there. We can have a special meeting then. It doesn't have to be a whole another meeting on top of our schedule. I was, I was, just, I was well, just looking at process, Patty, just looking at what we. Well, we only need to, in order to have a special meeting. You don't. You don't. There's, there's, no, there's no special requirements for how, how often. You still have the three days, or a special meeting is only 24 hours. So. Um, it can piggyback onto a select, a select board, board meeting, meeting is what right. Dune's asking. Yeah. Do, do you have... I, I would like to space it out so that the voters have an opportunity to understand the potentials of it because it's a voter issue. Do you? Would you like the time of this meeting to piggyback onto a regular select board meeting? Uh, I was feeling that the next select board meeting, yeah. it's going to be on the agenda so and we can, we can discuss hash it, it out. Okay. You know, okay. Because right. you guys opportunity to actually, you might want to Google a little what other communities are doing on this subject. Yeah, we can also ask Rachel. Yeah, we, we actually, there's a, a core group in that um, Vermont Rural uh, uh, Economic Development Group. There's a special team that focuses on climate. So they, they cover everything from climate finance to climate, mm -hmm. all, all sorts of issues. Mm -hmm. So land management, land use, all that. So I could I could reach out to them and see if they have like. someone on the team to come and to, to be able to answer any questions. I'm, 
I think the, I, I think the vote. That? I've asked them in advance already. Uh, that was one of the topics. For, for me, I feel like the, we have 800 plus voters in this community. This is their subject. Let them. You know, I don't know if we have to really educate anybody anymore. On you know, it's either you know, where, where do they want to go with this? Yeah. I'm happy to request an expert to be here if, if you like that. I'm happy uh, yeah, to that could be part of the discussion mm -hmm. next select board meeting. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a plan. And Rachel, that comes to you about uh, update about skate space. Oh, you right. want to? Okay. Yeah. Really quick. Um, over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, full days, uh, we had a total of six volunteers who helped. Um, including myself and my partner, Rich, who's in from Vietnam. And uh, so Dean, Norm Christensen, Peggy, and Dan McKinley, myself and Richard Kitchener, we laid uh, stone, stone foundations. We shifted back the wreck shed, mm -hmm. emptied it first, of course, yes. shifted it back. We did a primer on, I think, uh, three quarters of the wall. We're going to have the roof replaced, hopefully with some more volunteers. And then we're looking to work with some local folks who have a big rig that we could move one of the uh, baseball dugouts over to the second new foundation that we laid with stone, which, by the way, came from Cheryl and Ray Harvey. Um, two cans of paint and one can of primer came from Bethel Mills in Hancock. Uh, and, and very um, generously, the rec committee from our town gave us a certain amount of money. I don't have those numbers because mm -hmm. Norm and Dean worked that out amongst themselves. But there was, I guess, uh, you, you can call them if you want. Yeah, I have numbers. an article already. I talked to them. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. okay. Not all those details are in there because Norm said he didn't know all the details. I'd be happy to do a news release. But he told me, I, no, he told me he'd do an update when they finished with the moving. Yeah, the, that's cool. Moving the dugout. Okay. Yeah, so that's the next big step. We're going to, um, if. Uh, Forgive me, I don't know if they've approved that with the school. I don't know who actually owns that dugout, but those guys are working it out. They're working on that. So anyway, so my norm told me. Yeah. And my All update right. is the plan is new roof on that shed and then paint, including primer and paint on the doors, mm -hmm. and then move the dugout. And yeah. again, I forgive yeah. me, I don't know who owns the dugout, but I don't know if it's public property or not, but the plan is to shift well, it Well, those were made, they were a senior project, correct? From yes. A student, so that, that would... So it's owned by the school. school. Well, it's owned by the school. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm not part yeah. of those discussions. I'm yeah. just letting you know what happened okay. over the weekend. No, that's been brought up before, that idea, so this, it's... Um, Norm it's, and Dean Mandel have been working on that. Yeah. Are they going to it? Um, I, I think so. I'm not really sure. I'm not head of that project. I'm just letting you know, rolled up the sleeves, did some All basic right. elementary. Great. Great. Okay. Cool. So uh, roof and movement, and then we did lay a new con. Well, it's the same conduit, but we shifted it over so it goes between the two, forming mm -hmm. and the rec shed. So it's the same conduit. We just moved it. That's all safetyed out, so the kids, nothing will happen to the kids. It's it's. But we have to uh, we have to create another conduit to the main pole, and again, Louis Donet's working on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With professional hands. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. So that's all. All right. Great. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Um, we have um, <coughs> Jones not here tonight, but Pat, you want to um, we have her give notes. us her update? Yeah. I'll do my best. <laughs> Um, there was a meeting this morning, there's a meeting every morning uh, about the Bethel Mountain Lower Site 1 project. Every Monday? Every Monday morning. Yeah, and, every uh, morning. So uh, this is updated as of this morning. All slope work, including outfalls and headwalls, you know, below and where the culverts go, and there's 20 culverts there, um, are completed. Um, all the concrete headwalls are poured and they're, they're all ready to go. The concrete people are moving out. Um, box cutting has started. That is where they take the grade of the road right down to an engineered grade where it should be, and then they're going to start rebuilding the road back up. So the asphalt in some spots is gone, but you're starting to see the grade of the road. Um, they're finishing up the lower 800 feet of ditching at the bottom of the hill, continuing this week with more box cutting, stone lining the ditches, primarily on the upper side of the hill, uh, the lower side 
is all done. Um, Whitcomb will be the paver. Um, they start with reclaiming, so they're, they'll be coming and digging up the rest of the current pavement, and it will, it'll be mashed up, and we'll be able to go back down into the base. Um, so that starts on Thursday. Um, that's you know definitely a movement towards uh, the healing factor. We're, we're now rebuilding, not destructing. The paving may start late next week. It'll probably start around October 3rd and 4th. It was slated for first, second, but it's going to be the third, fourth. And uh, you know once they get going on that section, it, it'll be done in just a couple days. Uh, we are still on schedule for the October 11th completion date. Um, we are hoping the last, the last contractor to show up is the contractor that paints the lines on the road. So we're, we're down to debating, you know, can we get them here on, on time. Uh, discussion taking place, the town's request for more um, uh, Cooter had some concerns about some of the trees on the upper part of the hill. So this morning we had some discussion about who would be responsible for taking down some of those trees. Are they or are they not in the right of way? And for the time being, um, you could have a conversation with Cody about a few that looked to be necessary, but for the most part, there's no place to really begin or stop there. So um, there are a few that are obvious that Cody will work with you to take down. Did you say that was in the upper part? Excuse me. On the up uphill side. On the uphill. It's been cut back quite a bit. So, so. if I said um, you're discussing who would be responsible for trees that might need removal on the upper side. Right, depending right. on, okay. you know, each, each one has to be within the right of way within the designated okay. area of construction. Um, uh, the homeowner pro the homeowner permissions are pretty much all in the hands of all the homeowners, the final uh, permissions for easements, and we are hoping to have that all back as soon as possible. And now we move up to site two, which is from the intersection up to the top of the mountain. Um, site two is a different company, uh, Jay Hutchins, and they started that today. Um, if you have been over the mountain and you've seen what has been done on the Bethel side, um, that's what's going to happen on this side as well. There'll be squares with new pavement where there were problems. Um, that is slated to be done also by October 11th, um, and we will have flaggers. So the road will never be closed or anything like that, but it will be delayed when, when you'll have flaggers, and we've all been places where the flaggers have been. There are three culverts on that road that it's been recommended that they be replaced. Um, probably not gonna happen this year, but we found different ways to get funding to make those happen. Um, primarily next year, there's a, there's a tiny possibility if, if one, two may happen this year, but eh, you know, we'll, we'll see um, if, I, if all the chips fall into place. Um, they're gro they're go one needs to go from a 36 inch to a 48 inch, it's a four foot culvert, so it's a big culvert. Um, and hopefully when they dig that up, they don't find ledge because then they have to get another plan. So there's a lot of um, little irons in the fire there. And one of them is to ask the board if they would like Cricket to come in on um, looking at the design of the culverts. Uh, we have still have a forty-five thousand uh, dollar class two road rate grant that we had gotten to do a study, an engineering wrong, study of Bethel Mountain Road, road. Yeah. and uh, VTrans has um, allowed us to use that money elsewhere. So we may use it on the upper part of Bethel Mountain Road to pay for one of these three culverts, um, and that is pending the select mm -hmm. board approval. Um, so that is about it. The FEMA projects, uh, Joan, Cooter, and Julie, with uh, also some involvement of Becky, uh, are working their way through all the extensive data for FEMA. They've been meeting every other week with a FEMA rep, has been assigned to the town. And sites that have been completed will be visited by other FEMA staff to verify the work done and the cost. Bids for completing other sites using outside contractors is gradually getting done. 
So the FEMA projects here, there, and everywhere are, are still in process. And that is it. I like to think that's all good news. Yeah. Is the Park Street still going to be repaired? I that's think breaking up pretty good right now. I, yeah. I don't know that it's going to be repaired with this emergency money. Um, there was a sideline that was mentioned at one time way back when that perhaps it could be. So we'll see with VTrans if we can slip it in. It depends on how far yeah, over budget we are. are. Down in the we're, we're all about time and VTrans is all about the money. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't have any... Um, Problems with going ahead and asking them to, to repurpose that that forty-five thousand grant to attack that culvert up yeah, there. It's, it's hitting you know, the same been, road, just a different section. Yeah, right. Right. I so, don't. It's going to be the the two smaller culverts. The two smaller one, not the big It'll one. Be a structures grant mm -hmm. for the larger culvert next year. So we can apply this right under better study back money. roads or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we can apply this study money to the two smaller ones. So Hutchins is going to give us a price on replacing the other two okay. smaller cross culverts. Yeah. Are, are they thinking yeah. they could do it by October 11? Well, they, they don't need to because yeah. that's a separate pot of money. It wasn't Actually, those happen. don't have to be done by they October. Don't, yeah. True. Other money. Yeah. Cross culverts yeah. because it's a different. <laughs> So they might have to go back and, and do those, but mm -hmm. because it's not federal money, it doesn't have to be done by the 11th. Correct. True. Sure. Yeah. It's going to be, is it possible, I mean, it's likely that it would get done at least before snow, hopefully, right? That's the goal, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You never know. Never know, know. yeah. <laughs> right. Well, thank you for reading that and thank you Joan for presenting it the segue is right into do you have anything else to add in terms of the highway uh, world that's really the big story isn't it yes excuse me what what the Bethlehem Road is the big story we talked uh, about yeah, yeah. yeah. pain somewhere the pain. <laughs> you've been in bingo this is. week well so it's um you, are you working on the, the bingo little project out there? We're down up to bingo, well, not on the road relocation. Mm. And the Forest Service is not giving us a go ahead just yet. Not yet. But we're working up there on a ditching grant. And when we get to that spot, we're going to have to do something with their permission or not. It may not be as extensive mm -hmm. to make it wide enough so we can plow it and be safe this winter. But we're, we we got to do it while we're there. And I told Joan that today and she was in a contact the Forest Service and pushed them a little harder. Because my excavator is going to turn into a pumpkin and go away pretty soon. <laughs> Mason, you had a question? Uh, yes, with uh, the ditching grant, does that include um, uh, conservation of winter rye and straw to be put down on the soils? It's being seeded as we go, yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's being seeded as we go. Cool. It's going to be stoned from homers up to the, <coughs> the bridge, basically. That's a good thing. All right. Yep. Okay. And that will be closed tomorrow. What time? <laughs> Probably nine till when we get it open. We're we'll gonna do some under grain. I'll be out of your way. All right. Thank you. Other than that. Life goes on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, have you got anything for us tonight? 
and all the fixed leaf down in Kennedy Drive um, last week. And we got some problems with my little injector pump, but hopefully I'll have the practice tomorrow. So it's not working properly. Yep. You're talking about the injection pump at the pump station? Yeah. So how are you putting soda ash into the system? Not very good. I can't. <coughs> I called three places and nobody had a fire, so. Are you checking the pH values though on a? Yeah, it's like six, eight to seven. And I checked it in the system, and it's still up around seven four, seven six. I don't know where to check it. And you're expecting parts tomorrow to get it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So. I tried toggling it up, and I it helped it some, but that is still not putting them up in. I got it's the body's cracked, and it's really not. No. Rachel, you had a question about that? Yeah, uh, I, I am on the, Terry, I'm on the Common Lands Committee up at Great Hall. Yeah. And I was just wondering, do you have an update on the fire hydrant down by the lake? No. Uh, you know we're going up tomorrow night to see if we can figure out what's, what's going on. What's going on. Uh, the guys I sent up there couldn't figure it out, so okay. we got to take the truck back up and See if we can figure it out. It's not, I don't know. They thought it was a pipe, broken pipe, but mm -hmm. it's not a broken pipe because if it was, we'd have water coming out of the bank. Exactly. Yeah. So I'll go up with them. Okay. They were getting a lot of air out of it. We were still getting water or something, but he said a lot of air. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. So. All right. Got the. Wow, are we going to have like <coughs> the shortest meeting in, in months tonight? <laughs> yeah. Two hours something we have left. No, that um, sounds. No library. Nobody's here from the um, library. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah, any update from the library? Well, the, I'm sorry. the things are on the bulletin board again, but yep. uh, coming up on Thursday, Tom Pereira will be at the library uh, speaking about uh, survival in the Antarctic and wildlife there. And I think he'll be including some of the stuff from Shackleton's expedition at 10.30 in the morning. In the morning? Yeah. Program mm. tomorrow? Yeah. It's a program tomorrow from 2 to 4 on Medicare. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, we have on the old business. We have the this um, this vestigial missing book that seems to pop up in the agenda, and I'm I'm prepared to call that a a, a moot issue. And and it's um, I don't think it needs to be on this agenda. Are you prepared It'll, to say that the books are lost and can't be found? I'm or saying that they're down. they're they're not um, they don't seem to have been found. It's not that we won't let you know well, you if know, they show up. The way the Tom's you know? dragging their feet on this issue, it almost seems like they're afraid of jeopardizing the fifty thousand dollars they've got invested in the lawsuit. Now there might be information in those books that could sell this one way or another. I'd like to find out the facts myself. How, how is the town jeopardizing this? I don't understand that. How are we jeopardizing it? By not looking for the books. Wait, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? We've been looking for I've the book for months. months. Really? Yes. Well, I was in here last week and asked. Nobody's been looking. Well, how many we times do you expect somebody to look? Has anybody looked since last time? No, but it is how, you, well, how does many it, does times it matter? do you look in the same yeah. spot? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I got an information request in. I'd like to see some of those books. <laughs> nope. It's, um, it's, it's You're refusing me? I'm saying it's like Dean Dune just said, it's a moot point. It's no, it's not. Do, do you know what the, did you ever listen to Einstein's definition of insanity? You just stated it. <laughs> I didn't come here to get insulted. I'm sorry, but you're insulting us. Well, 
Why can't we even attempt to look for we it's have, had, we have attempted for months. months. 30 years. Have, a, have at it. Have a ball. I had a discussion with Tony Bislorier after the last meeting. She's been over here trying to find a book that she saw Good. when she was in here two, two years ago. That's excellent. And she can't find that. So now that one's missing. And nobody seems to give a rat's ass. Yeah, it's, it's, people it's have, your opinion. People have looked. People, That's your opinion. People have looked. People we have, have looked. Pawed through there. It's like it's not like Has people haven't looked. looked in the room you just told us that Tony yeah. Delorier was in there looking. I mean, it's, it's, he seems to be the last the one room. that have seen this book. Bruce Swelling went through the vault, right, and found that thirty years of those are gone. Right, he's your appointed authority on the book. He says 30 years are gone. Right. He says the only place they could be is down in the basement. And they are not. And they are not. So then they're gone and they can't be found. They have not been they found. They have not been found. But we're not going to look for them anymore. Is that what we, I mean? we didn't say that. We didn't say that. You did. No, you did. No, I didn't. You said it's a moot point. Putting it on the We're not going to look in the look for them in a month. We're not going to look at the same places over and over again. Nobody's looked downstairs. I don't what? know if that's true. That's not true. I don't think that's true. I think that before Joanne left, uh, yeah, Joanne Nancy, yeah, spent a lot of time. There's, yeah, they'd have to go every year and yeah. pull documents that can be removed. I mean, well, I'm just going by what Bruce said is left. There's 30 years missing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the only place they could be is in that room or possibly mislabeled in a book that's in the vault. That's my thought, is perhaps it mislabeled in a, in a book that was in a vault, but it's... Um, it's yet to be found. It's yeah. where it could be. It's unfortunate. That's it. But you're... you're what are do you, you expect? I mean, what else do you want to do? What do you want to do? do, you want to do? So you're retired, downstairs. right? You're retired. Why do you, you have the time, time to go in there and dig through there? Go for it. Okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, I work seven days a week, and then I'm here at this meeting, and well, it's over well, and over. Well, it's the, the same, same request. So, well, I've got stuff yeah. to do. Yeah. So, you know, you know you it's... You the job, you got it. I'll here I am. Well, my job is not actually researching documents for you. It's to conduct meetings and conduct the business of the town. The books are the purview of the town clerk, you know. So it's um, it's just um, it's getting to be a little harassing, you know. So you know, it's harassing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It is. It How is. is that? Well, look at Orca Media and watch one of the films and, and, and look at yourself a little bit. Yeah. You know? I'm not yeah. asking anybody. Yeah. I'm just asking what's being done to find the book. That's all. Okay. As things progress and people dig and look, there's definitely, it's out there that, whoa, there's the book, you know. I mean, if it's shows up in the crack somewhere or says someone put it, I, you know, if Mason's lawyer seems to be the only person who has seen it, um, ask her where it is, you know, I don't know. Well, are you insinuating she took it or something? I'm just, just telling you what I know. Well, you're you seem know? to be insinuating we took it. Yeah. No, I'm not saying you took it. I'm saying you're not looking for it. Okay, no. but we're no, going We have us. looked for it. No, you're wrong. We have no, looked for it for wrong. months and months. All right. The same That's places over and over again. This, this is, is ridiculous. Enough. That's why it is no, it's enough. Yes, it is. I, sec uh, I think it's ridiculous. Well, no. I disagree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. May I ask you a question? Yeah. Do, are, are you willing to, to go downstairs? Hey, if I get some time, I'll look. Okay. There you go. Okay. Well, that's a Mason, you have something. And then we'll Everybody ask you. Everybody else has. Maybe you should try to phone camp for a bunch of stuff and see what it's really like. Give up all your time for free. What's that? If you try volunteering for somewhere and give up a lot of time for free, you don't seem to appreciate what these guys do and they aren't getting paid. No. Are they getting a token but it's not being covered? Uh, uh, the time uh, or the hours they put in. And it's no different than any other volunteer organization. So you always got the people that run their mouths, but they aren't there to help. Well, if I get a chance, Gary, I'll go. Uh, Great. It looks like that's Great. the only and then you And then you're going to report back to us, okay? 
Sure. Okay. Great. Mason, you had something you wanted to add to this? Sure. Yeah. Uh, in reference to the minutes that you passed, discussion continue about the missing books, nothing more to report on that. Well, I can remember our last meeting. Uh, I was in agreement that if you're tired of looking for the books, and you, we have a responsibility to the voters that if we're done, you should have a conclusion, and that conclusion could be real or perceived, not knowing where they are, and that you should let Michael, the Windsor Sheriff, understand the situation and let others take care of the problem. Now, that was a pretty serious suggestion, but in the minutes, it's a total blank out. And I felt I presented that in a comfortable way as a voter, re referring to our liabilities to our voters, that conclusion of missing records should be understood. Now, if we, as a town, have a fire and the building burns down, the next select board meeting would make a record. We, our records have been burned to the ground and we have conclusion. Right now, you don't have conclusion on this issue of the 30 years. So just create a conclusion. Turn it over to Michael. Do something, but just don't leave it in limbo. Limbo is not a good place for the taxpayers or the voters. That's what I was suggesting, but you have no idea in these minutes that I even made that suggestion. Well, I see that you suggested it again. I did, but right. that'll be interesting in the yep. minutes. And I, 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 um, you're, I, I don't agree that that's a, a logical place to go with this. I think that's a, a waste necessary. of his time. It's not necessary. It's totally a, unnecessary. It's um, the, we are not the only town with missing, missing minutes, in the records. The, um, Rachel. We, don't, we don't give up on our MIAs and POWs, so we're not going to give up on this yeah. book either, <laughs> or books. I mean, these records. Where where were the select board meetings held during these years? Not in this building. Sometimes, no. sometimes Excuse me. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what year. I, where's Marvin when you need him? Was it from the 1930s yeah, to the 50s or something like that? Somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, very very often records records were just held in someone's in kitchen in a kitchen cabinet somewhere. So mm -hmm. you know, it's. Mm -hmm. I have uh, two questions. One, have we spoken to the historical society about maybe they have? I have. Oh, you yeah. have. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is it? And the second one, is it appropriate, uh, based on the authority of the town clerk and treasurer, whether I offer my help to volunteer to look when he's available? I don't know if it's appropriate. If it is, I'm happy to help look. You're, you're a taxpayer. You're entitled to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, but I, I don't want to overstep my boundaries. It's it's your purview, so. It's fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Then I'll get it here. Call me when you want to look. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. Great. See, so we're not um, going to call the cops on this. It's um, but it is um. It's ludicrous to keep having this conversation every meeting. Right. The so, mute, the, the mute yeah. point is that it's it's on the agenda, not that we we don't want to make it a mute point and stop looking for the books. Just keeping it on the agenda. It just rolls forward. Trust us. Well, it's always good to get a report on what's happened over the last couple of weeks. You know. So why don't we just keep it on there until we find them or declare them? Not well, good. if you want to Sometimes call each week and request it, but week. it's, um, it's, um, it's, yeah. it's, um, it's redundant and it's, uh, it's, uh, if you want me to call it, this is going to double the I time will. of our meeting having the same talk about the well, same I'll books. Call you know? every week. That'll make you happy. Well, if that's what you would like to do, then please go ahead and do it. But in terms of it being an automatic on the, the agenda for the rest of time because there's a book missing, that we're, are we sure there ever was a book? Then, well, you know, it's a, yeah. prior to that period. Yeah. I would assume that yeah. as one person leaves the board, they wouldn't just stop taking minutes. Well, know? that's assuming. About yeah, people in the twenties, you know. Think yeah. about it. And Mason, you have one last thing to add to this. I, I hope. 
I would. You're gonna step out. I was trying to guess. Please come and join step us. Step out. Yeah. I was trying to guess. You know what year the bolt was installed. I don't know. It, 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 it town hall relocated, or yeah. was it always right here? It was not. Well, the school. It was no, the school in the eighties. No, school just to be over here in the building. Didn't have a bolt in. Just a safe thing. Just a safe thing. I was just trying to get an idea. You know, I look at the bolt and it looks like it's, you know, it's, you know, it was purchased as a, it's the 80s. That's great. That's like the, uh, like a nice used bolt in the 60s. 80s or 90s that they put that, yeah. built that on. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't on the board then. But I mean, it's um, it's there now to protect what's what's in it. And if these other minutes should show up, we'll put them in there. Where, where was? Where did they do select board meetings prior to? Is there anything else? Nope. That's it. Where is this place? Uh, where were they? Yeah. Right next to trading, that's right. Also in the bank. Yeah. I think it's been several different places. Yeah. And who like knows? Like said, it could have been somebody's kitchen table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it just seems that, you know, all the, 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 the minutes from the previous meetings to that period are involved. Yeah. Yeah. So you said that. There was a lot of stuff that was moved around. You know, it's just yeah. funny that the period that pertains to the lawsuit is the period that's gone. All right. Well, exactly. you're going to help us find it. Smaller conspiracy. Maybe. No. Maybe. Both ways. All right. So, um, is that enough on the? The um, old yeah, business at the Mickey and Book. Yeah, that dead horse starting to stink. Yeah, okay. Hello? Then thank you all for coming. And um, we still kept it under an hour. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.